What's up, everyone? Today I'm going to bring you a, uh, a demonstration on Wireshark and how to capture uh, passwords and usernames through HTTP, not HTTPS, but HTTP. Um, first of all, let's explain the difference between HTTP and HTTPS. Um, what is HTTP? So if you go to a web browser or website, you type in the address or go there. This is a HTTP. Uh, HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. It's just the most basic. It allows for the communication between the different systems. It mostly commonly used for transfer data from a web server to a browser in order to allow users to view the web page. So it's just your basic protocol to use uh, for you to be able to see the web page. Now HTTPS, uh, that stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. Uh, if you go to their website, an HTTPS website, you, you'll mostly commonly see like a little lock right here before the HTTPS. That stands that is secure. It creates an encryption connection. It encrypts everything going through, so it's all uh, encrypted. Uh, here's the difference. I've done a little demo about the difference between HTTP and HTTPS. So if someone, say this woman Helen, she uses HTTP, she goes to a website, she puts in her password, a hacker can see this password by pulling it through Wireshark. Uh, Carol here, she uses HTTPS, so she goes to an HTTPS website, she puts the password in. Her password gets encrypted, so the hacker only sees this. See, that's the, her ass ABC123, but it's encrypted. So the hacker doesn't know the plain text password. So on that note, we will go and uh, show you a demonstration on that. So I'm using Kali. Uh, Kali comes with Wireshark. So you just go open a terminal, type in Wireshark. And Wireshark will open. These right here are your different uh, connections. And it shows you the traffic going through them. I'm on Etho Zero. And I already have a web page I found that is uh, HTTP right here. If you see the lock, it says line through it. Uh, you have a login. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to start up my Wireshark real quick. Click on that to start capturing packets, and this will stop it. So I can start capturing right now on my network. We'll minimize that. Go back to this page. So I want to go say I want to log in. My, my login name is going to be hacked. My password. I'm going to put is uh, hacked password and I'm going to hit login. Alright, so I don't have an account on this website. It says sorry, I don't recognize username and password. So I'm going to go back to Wireshark now and stop it. So If you see, it's uncaptured all these packets from where I started. Let me scroll all the way up and all the way down. You got different protocols that are capturing packets through your ARP, TCP, ICMP v6, DNS, DNS. Uh, DNS stands for domain name system. Um, Here's your HTTP. So, you know, instead of trying to scroll through all of this and try to find the one you're looking for, you can put a simple filter in. Say it's HTTP. 
hit enter and this will give you all your HTTP packets alright so you still got a few right here that you need to get through so in order to narrow it down a little bit more you want to do a HTTP dot request and then a dot method and then you want to do a equal equal and then post all in caps with another all right so now I hit enter now it's gonna give me two I got two of these I'm gonna have to look through but uh let's get going here if you see here we can uh Go to modules, hypertext trans protocol. We'll expand that. Now we're looking for a cookie right here. Okay. So in this cookie, this is all the data that's in the cookie. You know, whenever you go to websites, that you'll get these warnings about cookies now. What cookies are is, let me try to explain it simple. So a cookie captures your info on something like you, if you click on something on the website or if you visit something, it captures these cookies letting them know that that's your, that where you've been and what you're interested in, like you're shopping on the internet. Well then when you go to like eBay or another site, it asks for those cookies because it, then it just starts displaying stuff that you've you, you've shown interest in. So like if you ever went to Facebook and you you know before you went to Facebook you were searching for uh, Adidas shoes or you know a Nike or something like that and then you go to Facebook and then you start seeing all these advertisements for Nike, Adidas, uh, different athletic stuff. That's what it's done. It's done pulled your cookies. And it's trying to throw you ads for stuff that you are kind of either looking for or you're interested in. So we can uh, right click on cookies, go to follow. You want to follow the HTTP stream. So if we get right here and we look at this one, this one ain't really giving us a lot of info on that one. So the password is not going to be in this cookie. So we can back out of that one. Um, let's go back to HTTP and it saved it right there. So we'll go to this one. Let's see, follow HTTP stream. Now there's the one we're looking for. So if you go scroll down through it, you know, it looks like a bunch of code or whatnot, but what it is is actually HTTP. Um, right up. So right up here, if you look, uh, you know, it tells you uh, your user agent, the type of system you were running, which I was on Linux, my language. Um, and if you go down right here, there it is. If you look, name. So when I typed in the name, I typed in hacked. Password, hacked, password. And then try to open. And it asked me if I wanted for it to remember me. Login got blocked because, you know, I don't have an account, authentication failed so uh, but yeah so that that's that's how simple it is with Wireshark uh, with HTTP uh, so like if you're ever out in public at a coffee shop restaurant you see people sitting there like a guy or whoever sitting there with laptop open uh, he might be running Wireshark so be careful on the websites you visit and uh, what you know if you connect to that places internet you know I highly recommend not to connect to the internet when you're out like free Wi-Fi's and stuff like that very easy to get hacked that way 
and that's how people can steal your uh, passwords and information on certain sites you go to so uh, just be careful with that I wanted to show that today uh, just a little simple quick video on Wireshark um, like I said I'm, I'm still I'm still learning so much stuff man it is just endless but it's fun but uh, I said I uh, just wanted to bring this out here to y'all give you a heads up on HTTP and HTTPS so on that note I'll be doing another video soon. Later.